In our next career mode on this channel, we are going to be using Borussia Dortmund in the Bundesliga. Now, for me, it was either between Dortmund or Real Madrid. And I just think Borussia Dortmund is the choice that seems the most interesting. They have a lot of very good young players that I'm excited to use. We don't have that much money to work with, but I do want to bring in some players before the season starts. So let's just crack on with it. We are going to be playing this whole series on Ultimate. All right, so this is the Champions League group that we're going to be in. I tried to change these groups a little bit, just switch around the teams so they're not the same as this season. But we are still going to have Barcelona in our group. All right, first things first, let's see what the board wants from me this season. Well, that youth goal does not look like that's going to be achieved by us because I'm only planning to do one season with Dortmund. Just seeing what we can do with them, see if we can win the Bundesliga, maybe the Champions League, maybe a treble, maybe nothing. We'll find out. They want 53 million earnings from shirt sales. That's easy. Long term doesn't really matter. Short term keep player salary growth. Should be able to do that. They want us to win the cup and win the league, which is our goal as well. And they want us to reach the semifinals of the Champions League. I mean, in this one season, my goal is to win as much as possible. So those are my goals as well. All right. So first things first, let's take a look at the squad that we have. All right, so this squad has already a lot of very good players. We have a very good starting goalkeeper in Roman Berkey. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name, but he's 85 rated. He is definitely going to be my keeper. At left back, we have Schulz as a backup. And then I think Guerrero is going to start at left back. Routzer is getting on. His overall is not very high, but I could keep him for backup because I doubt he's going to be worth a lot of money. For center backs, we have very good options in Akanji, Zagadou, and Hummels. I really like these two, but I think this season, considering it's a one season career mode, I want to bring in a better center back to pair with Hummels. For right back, we have Lucas Piszczek, but at the moment, I think Hakimi is going to start and he's listed as a right mid currently in FIFA, but he's on loan. So I could be looking at bringing in a right back. So we'll have to look at that. We have two very good CDMs in Delaney and Witzel. Witzel is a very good midfielder. It's all around. I'm very excited to use him. In terms of wide players, we have Thorgan Hazard. Is that how you pronounce his name? Eden Hazard's brother. Very good winger. Also, Guerrero, who would be playing left back for us. Even though his defending is surprisingly not as good as I thought it would be. But Dortmund plays with a three at the back, so he's more like a wing back than a straight up left back. But I am not sure I'm going to play three at the back. We have former Liverpool midfielder Emery Chan. Also a very good, well-rounded midfielder. Dahoud is also a very good midfielder. Only 23. Marco Royce, who is the captain. Unfortunately, he's been cursed with injuries. But in this save, we're going to try and correct that and actually give him a full season. But this man is so good 
but he's been crippled by injuries. Julian Brandt, who is another very, very good player. He's only 23, 84 rated. I've never used him in FIFA. I'm very excited to use him as well. And then Jaden Sancho, 19 years old and 86 rated. Probably going to leave in real life. It looks like it. But I am very excited to use him. His value is 162 million. That is insane. Mario Gotze is someone I'm probably going to look to sell. I don't really see much use for him. And he's someone we might be able to get some money for. But this is the man of the save. Erling Haaland. I gotta look up how to say his name right for next episode. But only 18 years of age. 80 overall. He is just taking world football by storm at the moment. First game back in Bundesliga. He already scores again. And I've never used him in FIFA. 85 pace, 84 shooting. We are going to have a lot of fun with this pairing of Haaland, Sancho, Brandt, and Royce. And as you can see, I'm using a uh, Pfeiffer's Realism mod once again. And because of that, Haaland actually has a real face. And his face does look very good. As well as Giovanni Reina, young American player, who's actually getting some game time in real life. He also has a real face now. And I can't remember exactly which faces were added other than those two for Dortmund. But those are the two most important, basically. So in terms of budget, we have about 50 million to spend, give or take, which is not a whole lot of money, especially in today's market. But there are some very interesting things we could do with that money. All right, so this is the short list that I have created. Starting off with Thomas Munir from PSG. He's actually linked to Dortmund in real life. And considering Hakimi is only on loan for Real Madrid, it would be a realistic signing to actually sign our starting right back. And he looks pretty decent, but we do have to scout these players more. Stefan De Vrij from Inter, 85 rated center back. He would be a very good pairing next to Hummels. Nacho Fernandez from Real Madrid, who can play anywhere basically. Center back, left back, right back. Pretty good utility player. Now I have Juan Bernat and Jose Gaia up here just because Rafael Guerrero, I don't know if he's a true left back. I'll have to look at his stats more. And if he wasn't, we should have some left backs on our short list just in case. Next is Dennis Zakaria, who is actually a CDM, but I'm looking at him to play center back because he is 6'3 and he looks like an absolute beast. 87 sprint speed, 81 stand tackle. Him next to Hummels would be amazing. And I could even throw him in the midfield if I wanted to. But he looks like a very good player. And once again, I have not used in FIFA this year at all. Next is Ferran Torres. But he's actually linked to Dortmund in real life as well. Young winger, center forward. Not sure his rating yet, but he looks pretty decent. Next is Eric Lamella. Now Lamella and Bellarabi fall into the same category. Is that our we have Hazard on the bench who's 83 rated. And then our next winger in line would be Reyna, who's only 66 rated. So I think we definitely need another backup winger. I feel like Lamella or Bellarabi would be pretty decent coming off the bench and playing for the second team this season. So we'll have to scout them and see their values. Just like the wingers, I think we need one more midfielder for the bench. So I've put up Nabi Keita, Erlen Pjanic, Rakitic, even Luka Modric, because even though he's 33, he could maybe do a job for us. But like, like I said, this we're using Pfeiffer's Realism mods, so values are going to be a lot higher than normal for these players. So that's going to make some of these signings challenging. But this is just my initial shortlist of players that I've made. Next is Ruben Neves from, from Wolves. Very good midfielder. Pretty good all-around midfielder. Next is two Real Madrid players, Isco and Ames Rodriguez. Both kind of being pushed out of Real Madrid in real life at the moment. Kind of, from the last I've heard. Either of them would be very good additions to our team. Next is David Neres from Ajax, who's another very good young winger. But I bet he's going to be very expensive. In terms of backup strikers, if we sell um, Mario Gotze, we have Richarlison from Everton. Never used him in a career mode either. So having him be a backup striker, backup winger would be a very good option coming off the bench. Next, we have Raul Jimenez from Wolves. Possibly be a backup striker option. But again, I think he'd be very expensive. We have to wait till we scout these dudes and see their values. And lastly, Quincy Promise from Ajax. And I put Quincy Promise on the shortlist, but... He has recently joined Ajax, so he will not be joining Dortmund, unfortunately. So I'm going to simulate ahead a little bit so we can see their overalls more and their values to see who we can actually think of realistically signing. And like I said, even though this is a one-off season, I do want to keep the signings semi-realistic. Like, I'm not going to sign Pjanic, Rakitic, and Modric, and Isco, and Hamas Rodriguez, you know. I might sign one of them, even if I have enough money to sign one of them, but we will just have to see. I don't think we need that many big name signings. I think we need another center back for sure who's above 80. It'd be nice to get Munir too, to have a right back who's not 
on loan. And then if we sell Goatse, I think we need a backup striker. Maybe we could look at a cheaper option somewhere and then spend the rest of the money we have on a winger for the bench. But we will have to see. And before we simulate ahead, I have also transfer listed these players. If we want to make some some signings, we need to we need to make some money. So I've listed Goatse and Schmelzer pretty much the biggest names. Everyone else is kind of just low rated. I'm not going to get any game time this season. But I hope, I'm hoping I can get some decent money for Goatse. That would be a big boost to our budget. Okay, so the scouting reports are back and a lot of these players are just too expensive for our current budget at the moment. But Zakaria is only 30 million, apparently 30 to 38 million. I think he's one of my top targets. And then Bellarabi would be tw around 24 million, which isn't too bad as well. Lamella has gone to Manchester United. So he is no longer an option. The cheapest midfield option, it looks like it's going to be Rakitic, 32 to 36 million. Everyone else seems kind of just too expensive. James Rodriguez, 32 million, more around our budget. I would like to get Richarlison, but 60 to 73 million. I'm not sure we're going to be able to pay that. But we will have to see. I might go in for Zakaria because he just looks like a beast in FIFA. Let's see how much we have to pay to get him. Let's see. Saying 30 million, I might just start with 31 as value and see what they say. See what? So they want 31.9 and only a 10% sell on clause. Hmm, that's a big chunk of my money. We have two good center backs in Zagadou and Akanji. But the versatility of Zakaria, I mean, I could always play him in a midfield role because I do need a midfielder. Maybe he could fit that billing of being a backup midfielder and a starting center back. Like, I'm not sure. Do I spend that much money at this moment? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. He looks like such a good player. So I am going to agree to that. 31.9. I'm not sure his potential, but he's only 22 at 82 rated. I'm actually surprised his value isn't higher. He just looks very, very good. Let's see if we can sign him up. 56 million. That is fine. So our first signing, Dennis Sicaria. Our new center back slash CDM. All right, Zakaria is going to have the number 12 because 17 is taken. That's his national team number with Switzerland. And his four number eight is taken by Dahoud. So he is going to get 12. But he looks like such a good player. As I say again, I'm very excited to use him. All right, so that leaves us with only 18 million left in our transfer budget. So we definitely need to sell some players before we make our next signing. We get a transfer offer for Guerrero. I don't think I wanna sell him, even though my assistant manager says we could possibly get up to 85 million for him. I don't think I'm gonna sell him. So we get a transfer offer for Schmelzer. I didn't think I was gonna sell him earlier, but now that we need the money, I'm definitely gonna sell him. See if we can get a tiny bit more for him. All right, they do not wanna budge on this six and a half, so I am just going to accept it. And Schmelzer's move to Real Betis has broken down, unfortunately. Leipzig want to purchase Thomas Delaney, and I don't really want to give up Thomas Delaney. He seems like a solid midfielder. Let me look at my midfield options once again. So we have Witzel, Delaney, Chan, Dehoud. That's pretty much it. So if I got rid of Delaney, actually our new signing, let's bring him up. So if I got rid of Delaney, it looks like Zakaria would take his place in the midfield. I don't really want to give him up. Looking at this currently, we definitely need a winger. Because even if we needed a backup striker, we have people who can play striker like Royce. Can play center forward. Hazard can play center forward. So I feel like what we really need is another winger on the bench. And I haven't had any transfer offers or Goatse yet. I really want to sell him on because he can make us some money. But I don't think... I'm going to get rid of Delaney. If I got rid of one of my, one of my midfielders, it would be Dahoud. So maybe I'll transfer list him and just see what offers could possibly come in for him, maybe. His value is 17 and a half, so let's see what teams come in for him for. I am not having any luck getting transfer offers where you bring in some money. So I might try and do some kind of swap deal for Bella Robbie. Let's see what Bayer Leverkusen are interested in. So if I straight up offered his value... I would still have 100,000 in the wages, but let's see if we did a swap. Let's try and go say and see what they say. So swapping goats say they'd only want 8 million in cash. If I try and bring that down to like five, maybe because that would make 
the value of like 32 million, which is still overpriced for Bellarabi. Let me try and go lower. Let me try like four. See what they say to that. Well, they're sticking with eight. I mean, we were already in, uh, we were already in August and no, no one has come in for Mario Gose. I'm wondering, do I do this deal or not? I always come back and do it. So I'm going to offer six and see what they say to that. They are stuck on eight. Hmm. Let's try seven. Can they budge even just a little bit? So they take seven. So seven million plus Gotze for Bellarabi. I might do that because like I said, we're already in August and I haven't had one offer for Gotze. And you know how FIFA is sometimes. Sometimes they just don't let you sell players that you want to sell. So I might do this because this would leave us a little bit of money still left over for possibly a striker or some other addition. So I think I'm going to do this deal. Oh, Robbie wants a port and squad roll. You can have that. Let's do a four year. Probably wants three. Oh, he'll take four. No release clause. And he's taking a little bit of a pay cut. Um, let's see if we can remove that bonus. Let's see. Um, let's lower this actually a little bit. Let's try like 650. See what he says to that. So we raised it because there's no appearance bonus. You know, let's just do that. And so our second signing, Bellarabi, in a swap deal for Gotze. And so Bellarabi's number with Bayer Leverkusen was 38, so he's gonna have 38. Don't know how realistic Bellarabi going from Leverkusen to Dortmund would be in real life, but the fact that we gave them Gotze I think makes it a little bit more realistic. Players are staying in the Bundesliga, and I think Gotze was leaving Dortmund in real life anyways, so. I think both sides at least got a little bit of compensation for it. And he looks like a very good option coming off the bench. Just rapid speed, good dribbling. Looks pretty decent. All right, so this is how the squad is currently looking. And this is the formation I'm going to start the season with. It's like a 4-3-3 with two holding midfielders and a cam. And then we have two wide players. I'm deciding to put Julian Brandt wide out on the left side. He has 86 sprint speed. And he seems a little bit quicker than Royce. So I think he's going to be playing on the left, but I, these players are all switchable. Royce can play out wide, he can play up top. Sancho can play both sides. Brandt can play Cam. There'll, there'll definitely be some switching around as the season goes on. I'm actually going to put Zakaria in the starting lineup over Delaney. So I'm still undecided if I want to start Zakaria at center back, but I think I'm going to start the season with him in the midfield because, you know, Zagadou is not a bad center back at all. So I think I was being disrespectful to him and Akanji and trying to sign another center back because I bet they're going to go up to an 82-83 this season anyways. And we don't have a lot of money to fool around with, so I'm going to try not to be wasteful with it. Same thing with Hakimi, I might as well use him. He's pretty much at 20 years old, one of the best right backs in the world. When I get a chance, I'm going to change his position to right back because I'm not going to play him as a right mid. Guerrero is going to be my left back and we also have Schulz on the bench who also looks like a very good right back himself. I'm curious to use him too. But it looks like our one hole is that striker. If we could find maybe a young striker that's not too expensive to be our backup to Holland, that would be a good option. Currently, we have about 12 to 15 million in our budget. That sounds like it could be enough for a backup striker. But I think I'm going to save that money for next episode. So I can have your guys' feedback on what you think we should do with that final bit of money. If we should sell any players. But honestly, this team is looking pretty good. I haven't used a team this good in FIFA in a long time. Especially on Ultimate. So it's going to be interesting to see if it makes a big difference. You guys are going to have to leave what you think in the comments. Should we sell a player like Delaney to make some money? Or should we just try and wait until we get an offer for Dehoud? I am not sure. All right, so we are at the opening game of the season, the German Super Cup against Bayern Munich. They are going to be our rivals this season. Dortmund has not won the Bundesliga since 2011-12, I believe. Every year since that, Bayern has won it. So maybe this year we can change that. But like I said, we are going to be playing on Ultimate, so no game is going to be easy no matter what team that we're using. I think I'm just going to play this starting 11 as it is. Let's see what we can do in our first confrontation with Bayern Munich. A match here in Germany that is often front and center when honors are handed out. The two most popular sides in the country. Stay tuned, we'll bring you all the action from Bavaria as Bayern face Borussia Dortmund. 
And with the start of the Bundesliga season just days away now, we have action from the curtain raiser, the DFL Super Cup. All right, our first game with Borussia Dortmund. And it is quite a big game. First, arguably the best team in Germany. It's going to be a testing game, and I have not used many of the players in Dortmund's lineup ever in FIFA. I think I've used Hakimi and Axel Witzel. But other than that, I have not used these players very much. So it is going to be interesting as Bayern gets an early corner. They go pass it to Thiago. Guerrero steals it. It's going to be very interesting if Guerrero actually turns out to be a good left back. Because his ratings aren't amazing for a left back. Alon's first touch. He's going to be very fun to use. Along with Sancho. Good tackle by Hummels. It's room for Julian Brandt, but Pavard is going to catch him. This is going to be a cagey game. Iron is very, very good at passing and keeping possession. Ball into Holland. Trying to look for an outlet. I find Hakimi. See if we get a cross in. Alon gets his head to it. That is going to be wide. That is pretty much the first chance of the game. That is a very poor header. Coutinho out on the wing. Hakimi with a very good tackle on him. Good ball movement. If we get it out to Julian Brandt, that is a very good pass. See if Julian Brandt could find a player. Can't find Axel Witzel at the edge of the box. Wow, wide to Guerrero. See another cross, but that's going to be straight. Manuel Neuer. Ball in, cleared by Zagadou. I see Jaden Sancho on the wing, but that ball is deflected. He keeps it, though. Julian Brandt dribbles through their defense. See if he can find a player. Marco Royce almost gets to it. Ball into Marco Royce. Cannot find an opening. Good enough for a shot. Nobody really in the box for a cross. And that's going to be the first half. Ending at 0-0. liking the start that we had in this game. Jaden Sancho is on the wing. Probably should have dribbled it in there. I'm not upset at the start that we've made. It's a ball in, and Berkey should have that comfortably. Good ball into Julian Brandt. Oh, I tried to get it to Halan, but I just couldn't get the pass over the defender, and that's going to be a goal kick. That was a very good tackle. By the right back, Kimmich, I believe. Or actually, Pavard. Uh, Serge Gnabry is very quick. Just sprints past my defense. Ball in. And Hakimi clears that. Now they have a corner. Looks like they're going to go short with it. At the edge of the box, that is a very good shot. But it's saved by our keeper, and then it's offside. It's a very good volley. That is a very good volley. But Berkey saved it, actually. It's a pretty good save by him. To keep hold of it. 
Bowen to Marco Royce. Is Jaden Sancho going to be on side? Looks like he is. Going to go for the shot himself. And that is the first goal of the game in the 65th minute from Jaden Sancho. Sancho looked like he was just on side at the end. And being hassled by the defender, he's able to keep the ball. And that is a very good finish. A very good finish on probably the best goalkeeper in the world, Manuel Neuer. That is a very good play. And that is our 1-0 lead. Good ball into Zakaria. Can find Haaland. Julian Brandt can maybe be onside. It looks like he is. Royce, can he get a shot away? Second chance. And that is just why. That was so awkward. I expected the ball to go to Axel Witzel, but Royce caught it. And that is a very tight angle to score from. Good tackle by Guerrero. Now we could be on the break once again. Grant has got the pace for this. See if he can turn. Then find Axel Witzel in the box. Could have passed it. I went for the shot. Another save by Manuel Neuer. I think I could have swept this. Maybe, but I think their center back would have caught it out, actually. All right, so I'm going to move Julian Brandt to Cam. And I'm going to sub Royce off for Bellarabi, I think. I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Let's see what we can get from this corner. Very unfulfilling corner. Into Jaden Sancho, can't get the shot away. Decent passing move in the box. Good steal by Guerrero. Zakari is in a very good position to get that ball back. Alan turns, can he get the shot away? It's a low, powerful shot, but it is just wide. It's a little bit more over, and that would have been a goal. All right, let's get Delaney in for Axel Witzel. And then let's get, um, let's put Hazard at Cam. And then that's all our subs. So let's see if we can hold this lead for the last eight minutes. We have played very well this game. I'm very happy with this team's first performance. Especially against a team like Bayern, even though it is just... The very first game of the season. It is the 90th minute and Haaland makes a steal there. See if we can get one more chance and waste a little bit of time. Into Bellarabi. Tries to get his shot away but Sewell tackles him. Looks like there's about a minute left. Thomas Muller is going to try and get the ball down the wing but Zakaria tackles him. And that is going to be a 1-0 win in our first game against Bayern Munich. It was not an easy game. Their defense played pretty well, but their attacking did not play very well at all. I'm not sure if they even created one or two chances. So they left their shooting boots at home for sure. Jaden Sancho gave us our 1-0 lead, and that's going to end up winning us the game. as we celebrate a Super Cup victory. Yeah, Bayern Munich only had one shot on target. And we only had two. So it was a very possession-based game. And we just came out on top. All right, this is where the episode is going to end. In the next episode, we will start the Bundesliga. And we might finish the transfer window, or we might finish it in episode three. Still undecided on that. But I'm going to need you guys' feedback on who you think we should sign with the rest of our money. If we should possibly sell a player, if there's any feedback, any opinions you have, you can leave in the comments. And I will take your guys' feedback and use it in episode two and three. Really good start to this career mode. This team feels very good. I appreciate all of those possibly coming from my Southampton career mode to something a little bit different. I think we are going to have a good time with this team in this career mode.
you guys enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe catch you guys in the next episode very soon and i hope you all have a great day